We are living in an age of unprecedented technological advancements. Each day rapid progress is being made in fields that have the potential of transforming our lives forever. Today we are going to take a sneak peek at some inventions of the future that will revolutionize our world. The Metaverse. You've heard this word a lot lately. So in a nutshell it means, if the contemporary internet experience is two-dimensional, meaning you browse and scroll through it on the screen, the Metaverse is 3D, you'll be walking through it by a connected headset or glasses. An understanding of the Metaverse is complicated especially because it doesn't entirely exist yet. It's unclear whether there will be one Metaverse or many, but it will be an immersive next-generation version of the internet likely rendered by virtual or odd-minute reality technology. The venture capitalist Matthew Bourne describes Metaverse a successor state to the mobile internet, and a platform for human leisure, labor and existence at large. It sounds interesting, right? For now, a virtual world mimics the space constraints and land scarcity of the real world. In other cases, it just means users sharing specialty created limited space for a particular game, or a special time-sensitive event. But the metaverse is intended to be so much more if the experts have their way. But questions of control are an issue here, especially if your metaverse is controlled by a corporation that wants to draw value from all that user-generated work. Is meta better? We'll find out soon enough. What do you think of the metaverse? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Show us some love by smacking that subscribe button and clicking the bell to stay updated. Do it, and you'll be grinning for the next 10 years. Galactic Tourism A quartet of amateur space travelers recently went on a three-day trip into Earth's orbit aboard a SpaceX capsule. This is being done by aerospace companies like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic as well. But these trips are the beginning of what could be a lucrative 21st century industry. Space tourism is human space travel for recreational purposes. There are already several companies planning to build suborbital vehicles and orbital cities within the next two decades which is the essence of galactic tourism. These companies have invested millions, believing that this industry is on the verge of taking off, and the four space tourists on board the SpaceX capsule safely splashed down off the Atlantic coast. Completing the first-ever three-day mission in Earth's orbit, with no professional astronauts on board, so now we know it's possible. In 2019, NASA announced to start allowing private astronauts to go on to the International Space Station, which is planned to be priced at $35,000 per day for one astronaut, and an estimated $50 million for the kids right there and back. Driverless cars. Fans of 1980s horror phenomenon that spawned a book and a movie. Might recall one of the earliest driverless cars was Stephen King's Christine. But these days, driverless vehicles have come a long way. Your own car may not be driving itself just yet but you might already own a kind of driverless car without realizing it. Something as small as the beeping noise that guides your rear parking could mean that your car is somewhat autonomous. And if your new car can park itself, it's likely to be more of a driverless vehicle than you think. If technology continues on this current course, it's your car that will do all the driving for you. Waymore One, the ride-hilling service that uses driverless vehicles in the suburbs of Phoenix, can now be accessed and booked through Google Maps the first fully autonomous ride-hailing option available in the app. The future is here. They have about 600 vehicles in its U.S. fleet. About 300 to 400 of those are in the Phoenix area alone. So clearly, it's having some impact. The driverless taxi service means that a safety operator is not technically behind the wheel. It also means that if it pops up on Google Maps, users can be assured it will indeed be driverless. That's good to know. Deepfake, deepfake technology, ever heard of it? You most certainly have seen it on social media apps or on special effects in movies. How it works is such that anyone can seamlessly stitch anyone in the world into a video or photo they never actually participated in. In movie making, such capabilities have existed for decades. That's how the late actor Paul Walker was resurrected for his part in Fast and Furious 7, a franchise he made famous while he was alive. Now, deepfake technologies can synthesize images and videos much more quickly. We literally have apps that do it instantaneously. And that's why your growing unease has settled around deepfake technologies that make it possible to create evidence of scenes that never happened. Celebrities have found themselves the stars of a dot content, 
and politicians have turned up in videos speaking words they never really said. Corporations don't like it either. Social media platforms have banned it from their networks. That's how strongly deep fakes divide people. No matter how much fun it is to see, is it just about videos? Absolutely not. Audio can be deep fake too to create voice gains or voice clones of anybody. Starlink Internet Owned by the billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, this can run through his commercial aerospace company SpaceX. The Starlink Internet project aims to beam strong broadband connections across the globe, using a network of thousands of satellites and back down on Earth. The Starlink broadband router has now been approved for consumer use. Marking a significant step forward and connecting our homes to the upper atmosphere, that's good news. As a result, it's safe to say Starlink broadband will be a very real option for us quite soon. But how does it work? Satellite broadband as we know it today uses a lot of the same technology you already benefit from on a day-to-day -day basis, like satellite TV and GPS. However, Starlink instead transmits data through lasers fiber optic broadband, meaning it travels at light speed. The fastest possible pace anything can physically move. In perfect conditions, it could reach consistent speeds of 150 Mbps download and 40 Mbps upload. A recent test with the US Air Force even saw it hit ultra-fast speeds of 600 Mbps. Impressive! These are game-changing speeds for areas that currently have little to no connection at all. Hyper trains, you better get used to the idea of rolling work or on your vacation via hyper trains, because passengers are already experiencing this state-of-the-art travel and test runs. Supporters argue that Hyperloop could be cheaper and faster than train or car travel, and cheaper and less polluting than air travel. They claim it's also quicker and cheaper to build than traditional high-speed rails. Hyperloop could therefore be used to take the pressure off gridlocked roads, making travel between cities easier, virtually unlocking major economic benefits as a result. The Hyperloop is the futuristic idea of passenger and freight transportation in a sealed tube or a system of tubes. Unlike a regular subway train or railroad, Hyperloop low air pressure allows a passenger pad to travel free of excess air resistance or friction at hypersonic speeds. The pads travel through tubes or tunnels, but most of the air has been removed and they move at super speeds using magnetic levitation like an air ski to reduce friction. So the pads travel up to 750 miles per hour as a result of this clever engineering while being energy efficient. That's why a number of different companies are working to turn the ideas into a functioning commercial system. Which futuristic invention are you most interested in? Are there any more on the horizon that you are excited about? Let me know in the comments below. Also, like, subscribe and stick around for more great videos. See you in the next one.